Welcome to the Phil Tate Show. I mean, I'm still trying to practice my Millie Rock. I mean, I don't think it's that good yet, but guess what? I'm here at the Ween Awards 2016. It's a wonderful evening where they are acknowledging the accomplishments of African-American women in the community. I had the opportunity to interview some amazing people that you're going to have an opportunity to check out right now. I'm telling you, this is the event to be at. This is the event where we get to see Black Girl Magic at its best. This is the event where we're honoring our own. Guys, check out. It's the Ween Awards 2016. Keep it locked. Yeah. Nicole, how are you? Good. We're here at the Ween Awards. Tell me, how important was it for you to be here this evening? It's, you know, any event that promotes sisterhood, unity, magic, Especially black girl magic. I need to be there. I need to be in that room. <laughs> That's right, Nicole, you've been such a force showing so many African-American girls that you can be whatever you want to be. You've had such an inspirational web-based uh, web platform. Tell me, what's next for Nicole? What's next for me? You know what? I had no idea what was going to be next after I closed my... <laughs> after I closed NicoleBitchy.com, a gossip site, it's always like, what's next? And when I do what's next, is it going to matter to people? You know what I'm saying? But. Um, I switched my brand. I have a woman empowerment platform. And when I say I'm so much more fulfilled every day, I wake up, I go to sleep with a peace of mind, and I wake up knowing that what we're doing is fulfilling and meaningful and impactful to this generation of young women. And that is no amount of money can pay for that type of peace. Thank you for that wonderful answer. And if you could just tell me, what is Black Girl Magic to you? Black Girl Magic is... You know what, a lot of times people tell us we're too independent, you're too strong. You can be bossy, but do, don't be too bossy. And I feel like that too is what makes us who we are and that, what makes us magical. So that's what Black Girl Magic means to me. Living in your truth, I don't care how, you know, how much it intimidates. How bad it can get. I, right, and you know what, that too is a limitation that other people place on themselves. So they tell you, you too something because they're intimidated by what you're doing, you know? And I think uh, we should never let anyone dim our light. So that's what Black Girl Magic means, shining in your light and not letting anyone dim it. That's right, thank you so much, Nicole. Miss Tiana Taylor, how are you this evening? Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, and yourself? I'm good, I'm good. You are one of the honorees this evening. It's a wonderful thing to be honored for empowering people. It's a wonderful honor, uh, uh, opportunity, to, opportunity to interview people for doing amazing things. But you did something so amazing, which was bringing a child into this world. Tell me, how has the journey been being a mother, bringing a child into this world, and showing your child the way? Oh my God, it's been so great. Like she's just my good luck charm and, and my level of, of hustle and grind and hunger was just at an all time high, you know, when she was born. So I give her all of my thanks. But it's been extremely amazing. Th thank you so much. Thank you for your time, Tiana, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Alrighty. Mona Skaya, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. How are you? I'm doing, doing very, very well. I have one question to ask you. Yeah. For so long, African-American women did not have a voice. The voice to vote, the voice for public opinion. Tell me, how does it feel being an African-American woman and being able to show people's lives on television nationwide? Um, listen, I think that the opportunity to give these women a voice and to allow them to tell their stories is what has been my blessing. I know a lot of people have opinions about the kinds of stories we're telling, but I think until we accept ourselves, for the full spectrum of who we are, the good, the bad, the not, you know, we are always going to fall short. We have to embrace who we are. We have to embrace all the different, you know, stories that we have to tell, and we have to allow those stories to be told fully. I feel very blessed to be in the position that I'm in, but I also at the same time recognize that there's so much more work left to be done. When you look at what we experienced this election, yes. it shows us that as far as we've come, we still have so much further to go. So women have to continue to come together, continue to push forward, and continue to just function at our highest abilities. Hello, how are you? We are here at the Wiener Awards. Tell me how important was it for you to be here this evening? Oh, it's critical. I mean, it's so important right now. Um, I think more than ever for women to embrace one another, really hold hands and kind of unite in chorus. Um, I'm so excited and privileged to be here. You have been a trailblazer with the Ciroc brand, working closely to make sure that things continually stay afloat. Tell me, how has it been working with the Ciroc brand? It's been amazing. We've taken that brand from 50,000 cases to 2 million cases, and there's so many powerful women around me that you know an organization like WEEM stands for that have made us uh, so successful. So I'm super proud of Ciroc. Just launched our new Ciroc Mango. Um, keeping it up, it's going great. That's awesome, that's awesome. And let me ask you, what is Black Girl Magic to you? Black Girl Magic? Um, you know, it's just the innate quality to be able to 
just be fabulous and brilliant and intelligent and kind and caring all at the same time with just grace and poise. Um, and I see it every day. And I think it's just something unique that black women have. That's wonderful, Dia. Well, we thank you for stopping by the Phil Tate Show. And just know that you are the ultimate female boss, continually making strides every day. Thank you very much. Thank How you are you this evening? I'm good. That's amazing. We're here at the Ween 2016 Awards. You have definitely used your voice for social injustice. You've gone to Instagram, social media, Facebook, everywhere, and told people about your opinions. Tell me, how important is it for people to use social media to showcase their voice to the world and to shed light on so many issues? I feel like it's an integral part of social media because it's an extension of who we are, and it represents our opinions and our voice so it should be um, when somebody goes to your page they should see what you believe in and what you stand for and it's also just a great way to spread a message whether it is your opinion you no longer need to have all of the eyes on you at all times but you can share your opinion with the world and it's important to me that we use the tools that we've been given for good. That's right, Yara. You're on an, ama on a, an amazing show with Tracy Ellis Ross, Anthony Anderson. Tell me, how does it feel to be a part of such a great African-American established cast? They're amazing. And I mean, one, to be nominated for a Critics' Choice Award and a People's Choice Award. And to also be on a show that means something is, I mean, why I like to do what I do. Because I get to be proud of every episode. And I get to say, look at my show covering police brutality. And look at what we covered this week. And I love just the fact that it's so progressive. And soon it's going to normalize the idea of being progressive and being about race and how that is no longer going to be an outlandish concept that we can put black people at the center of a show and talk about black people problems and everybody will be able to relate. Yara, you are the definition of black girl magic. What does black girl yeah. magic mean to you? I mean, it means this entire room. It means like a lane right next to me. It means the idea that we are one, we are a community, and that we are embracing just the fact that we have been born with such amazing gifts that oftentimes go unrecognized, and just embracing all the talents that we share and that we spread and the fact that we are so involved in our community. Well, Yara, thank you so much for your time, and you just keep being great, all right? Okay. Megan Good, we are here at the Ween Awards. Yes. Tell me, you are an honoree. You're being honored. Yes. You've been so empowering to so many women. How important was it for you to be here this evening? Super important. This is what it's really about. At the end of the day, whatever God so graciously allows us to do in this business or any town or anything we're pursuing in life, that's a blessing. And, and I believe that it is our responsibility to give back. It is our responsibility to uplift, to love. And then I also think everything that you experience in life is not by chance. You know, your test is your testimony. Your pain is a part of your purpose. That's right. And um, for me to be able to just give back and just be used is a blessing, and I'm thankful. Megan, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding. Yes. But in all your ways, acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. Yes. Tell me, how has it been empowering so, pe so many people to wait till marriage to have sexual intercourse? It's been a blessing because... Um, for me, it was a life-changing experience. You know, I did it both ways. I always felt convicted the other way, but I always felt like, well, you know, Christian struggle in this area. Um, but once I committed to just being obedient, it really unlocked yes. a totally different blessing. Um, because God knows that that's one of the hardest areas. Um, and so, for me, not only did I, you know, gain a, a beautiful, incredible husband, um, but it changed my career. It changed. Um, me the way I looked at myself, even though I've always loved myself and been somewhat overconfident, my my self-love grew more and my self-value and my understanding of who I am. I had a clearer line to God just because there was less distraction. And you don't realize how much of a distraction that is um, when you're doing it at the time because you just feel like it's a part of life, but it, it actually is. And so anyway, I'm not being goody two-shoes telling anybody else how to live their life. I'm just saying for me, it was literally transformational and that's why we wrote the book because it was for both of us and we wanted to encourage other people um, you know if they're interested to try something different because I, I believe it would bless them the same way it blessed us that's right that's we'll awesome miss june ampros you're celebrating 20 years in the industry 20 years of unbelievable fashion 20 years of not only designing stars on red carpets but also training the next generation tell me how important is it to train the next generation in fashion yeah you know i think my angelo said it best when you know She's like, when you learn, you teach, you know, we, you have to, it's important that we are, they don't just walk, stand on our shoulders, but they, they, they can stand on their own. So I want to be able to lend as much information about the realities of how important it is to be excellent and good at your craft and educated about what it is that you're doing and be, uh, you know, know, understand your brand and your Come messaging, on understand that the marketplace will not, you know, 
Don't allow it to define you. You, to, you, you take control over that. And always change the narrative when it's not going your way. Because people will put you in a box, and that's really and, easy. And June Ambrose is not meant to be in a box. You have changed the landscape of fashion. You have tested the time of trials. And Miss June Ambrose, we salute you. You are black girl magic. Oh you are what so I'm many people- I'm giving an award right now. I'm obsessed with you. You are what so many people look up to, and we salute you here tonight, Miss Ambrose. I'm humble, thank you. Thank you so much. You're good. You're fine. No, you're really good. Mr. Kevin Lyles, we're here at the Ween Awards 2016. Tell me, how important was it for you to be here this evening? Uh, I'm always going to be here to support um, young, beautiful women who are working with their minds and not just their bodies. Mm -hmm. That's right. You've been such a uh, figurehead. You have been a male that has represented the African-American community so well. Tell me, how, uh, what are your thoughts on this year's elections and how can we move forward? Uh, the same thoughts as um, most of America. Uh, but when you have over 7 million people who voted in 2012 that didn't vote in 2016, when you have over 46% of people who are eligible to vote that did not vote, um, when you have um, African-American females 94% voting for Hillary, um, you wonder where's the disconnect? Well, there wasn't a disconnect. There was a connect um, with um, voters that felt it was more important to vote than not important. And unfortunately, it wasn't our color. <laughs> <laughs> Lights, camera, action. Miss Curry, how important was it for you to be here tonight, this evening, at the Ween Award? Uh, the Ween Awards are so amazing because, first of all, I don't feel like this is this is an award show at all. It feels like church for black women, kind of. That's right. Um, you know, we laugh, we cried. I'm not even a crier, but this is just healing. We need this. When, uh, women of color, any chance we get to embrace each other and really, really relate as women of color, then it's a good thing. So this was an absolutely beautiful room to be in. It was very inspiring. We loved on each other. We got a little bit of healing to leave this room with. So I'm, I'm just grateful to the Ween Awards for a moment like this every year. And Miss Curry, you have not just been an inspiration on the singing lines, but also on the songwriting lines. Tell me, I'm gonna tell you that you are Black Girl Magic. Now you tell me, what is Black Girl Magic to you? Ooh, Black Girl Magic is just a fire. That's what I'm talking about. It's a fire. It's a flame. We so lit. <laughs> Thanks all for the Phil Tate Show. I had a blast at the Ween Awards. We had so many people that we spoke to, so many inspirational women, and I'm glad that you had an opportunity to check it out. Guys, I'm your host, Phil Tate, and that is all for the Phil Tate Show.